Hey guys, uh, I return with just a short video for the time being. It's one where I briefly address Aaron's stupid sense of humor, which is linked to his desire to spread bad faith to the Sonic fandom. This is a point I could have delved deeper into when I made my This Is How Adult play of Sonic Heroes, and I can't believe I didn't do it right then and there. In any case, it's been bugging me on occasion that I didn't do it, and hopefully now, you blind defenders of Aaron will actually take a little of your time to actually listen. So, what do I mean when I say that Aaron wishes to spread bad faith to the Sonic fandom? Well, it's essentially him trying to label us as delusional idiots for not acknowledging flaws and bugs within the game. By breaking the game's on purpose, while feigning ignorance during his actions. Now, there were multiple moments where one could argue one way or another whether Aaron was sucking on purpose or not, but there was one instance where it is clear as day that he was sucking on purpose, an instance which cannot be defended in the slightest. Whether you watched my This Is How I Don't Play or not, watch and listen closely to this clip right here. Yeah. Hearing it from yeah. fucking Jimmy in the, 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 in the elementary school bathroom. <laughs> well, the craziest part must have been, you know, as the movies came out. Cause like, there's a three year gap between the first and second movie when you find out all that stuff. Oh yeah. So, what the I fuck? mean... What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> no, I just... I wanted to give you your moment. Jesus to enjoy. fucking Christ. If that shit happens again, I'm gonna scream, dude. <laughs> no, stop. S God. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. Uh, Aaron threw down the controller and has his head in his hands. He's very angry. I'm not doing anything like that's like not normal. It just fucking launches you off the side of the stage. I'm gonna nudge my headphones off so this isn't right in my ears. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I can't believe this! I can't believe this is indefensible! <laughs> like, give me a fucking break, dude! Unbelievable, man! It makes me, you know, it's, it's just that it... <laughs> it's not just that it's bad, cause like, whatever. It's that it's bad and that I know people are gonna fucking criticize me for- for- It's not even my fault! And there's plenty of stuff that I do on fucking gay grubs where I'm like, Oh, this game sucks! And it's something I clearly, like, missed or like... It, and it, it, it's like, it, the game fucking told you, idiot. And it's like, okay, fine. This shit is ridiculous! <laughs> it launches you off the fucking stage! Period! Oh. Oh boy. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Ugh, man, why do I do this to myself? So, he claims that the game just flings you off without you being able to control your momentum. Now, while he didn't use those exact words, don't even pretend that's not what he meant. Either which way, he is wrong. Allow me to show you why this isn't true. In this instance, I hold down the B button while holding the left analog stick forward. In this next instance, all I do is hold down the B button. In this next instance, I am not touching anything on my controller whatsoever. In this next instance, I am performing the first instance again, but this time I try to control Sonic's momentum in order to safely land. And in this instance, I am again only holding down the B button, yet I manage to control my momentum in order to land. You can even see later on that Aaron does the same thing, that he does indeed have control over his momentum and that the game is simply flinging you off. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Yeah, it's uh... These it's, games. It's How many of these were there? Oh, tons. That, <laughs> I really don't- I don't know what just happened, but it did. Don't mind if everything goes blue and you die. I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> it's just a video game. Yeah, we could only work so hard on this. <laughs> Let me try- uh, I did- <laughs> What the fuck? It happened you, again. Where are you falling? I'm- I, I'm not fall- I'm just running into the wall and then suddenly I fucking- can you slow it down there and see if there's anything that actually you're running into? It's just like when you hit the wall... Oh, what the f- <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> this is unacceptable! <laughs> How do people defend this game? This is a retroactive outrage! Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no! What the it's hell? pulling you 
towards it. Oh, 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 oh whoops. Oh, oh, oh no. God. Okay. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I'm up here now. <laughs> How did I? Whoa. Woo. Oh, next time on Game Grumps. This is going to be good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Aaron, what a gift you've given me on this day. <laughs> so, to anyone telling me that he didn't perform the loop glitch in Emerald Coast on purpose while feigning ignorance for his actions, you guys can go take a hike. Aaron is supposedly a professional comedian, if not a professional gamer, but you can't deny, this is an absolute insult to your intelligence as a person. If you actually find this funny, the least you can do is acknowledge that this sort of rage cannot be forced by much more. Either which way, this is still piss poor comedy, if you insist on even calling it that. Do remember that Aaron is also feigning ignorance and lying through his teeth for his comedy by the way. Even though they really shouldn't, there are plenty of Sonic fans who actually support Aaron despite this fact. Now, keep in mind that the Sonic Adventure DX playthrough was released in 2015, while Sonic Heroes was released in 2020. And what that means is that for at least 5 years, Aaron has been treating you as complete idiots. Which, you are at this point, if you refuse to open your eyes already. 2020 is almost over, enjoy your fucking holidays, have a great day, peace. I, uh, I absolutely respect anyone's opinion who thinks that these games are great. Mm -hmm. Because, gosh knows in, in your heart of hearts you believe that 100% and how can I argue with that feeling that is living inside of you.